Good morning, folks. After seeing 70-degree weather in Albuquerque over the weekend, I'm waking up to a few inches of snow here on Monday. That shift came absurdly quickly. Anyway, let's go over to spaceweathernews.com, and it's a know-your-tools day. We see the big dark coronal hole cutting down from the north, split by bright umbral magnetic fields of sunspots, which appear silent here, and with thinner plasma filaments, also dark, writhing and trailing just behind the coronal hole. Those present eruption threats, but have been calm thus far, along with those sunspots which haven't produced any solar flaring whatsoever. The Earth facing quiet, caught and arrested all development of complexity, and this one remains split heading for the limb out of view. Solar wind here. Despite the drop in intensity, we saw unsteady density and a fine angle shift towards the evening which kept the cosmic ray health alert at bay. At one point we had a 24 hour average of 0.5 and we're about to tip. Eyes are on it, but the next stream should be from this coronal hole sometime in the next day or two, and then the cosmic ray alerts will take a back seat once more. The Earth-facing spots got nothing right now, but it does look like more are on the way as we can see their fields arching up over the limb even before the spots get into view themselves. But let's come back up because we have reason to believe the silent sunspot on the disk now could fire when he departs our view. Just poking around Iswa yesterday, I saw the planetary magnetic connections to our star have updated again. I had almost given up two years ago. So what we have here are the IMF connections to the star from the planets. They only show the inner system here. Solid circle outline means it's connected to the Earth viewing side of the Sun, and dotted circle outline denotes a connection on the far side of our star. Remember folks, these only connect back at coronal holes, but can do so close enough to other features that flares and filaments can trigger energetic events along them. So we see Mercury there with a dotted circle outline. It's connected to the far side. Earth, Venus, and Mars all connected to the Earth-facing side. The concern is that the sunspot group, currently on the disk and silent, as it turns it's going to be heading right at Earth's magnetic connection to our star. We don't see solar activity facing Earth these days, but it can be tremendous off the limbs and the far side, and if Earth's magnetic connection gets hit as the grouping turns away, we could see the first radiation storm in geospace of 2017. Eyes on it. Right now we're jumping over to another tool, the alert map. Folks, if it looks less cluttered to you, that's because they took the dozens of bird flu markers off the page and gave them their own. You can see it up in the top in red for their own map. Now it should be much easier for you to navigate and find the events you are looking for. While we're here, earthquakes continue beneath Iceland. There are four volcanoes they believe are going to go off imminently, including Grimsvotten and Katla. For those who don't know, Katla is the one that could shut down air travel over much of the northern hemisphere and blot out the sun by a few percentage points during the duration. Folks, this is an oarfish. There's really no way to mistake it for anything else. Looks like the longest eel you've ever seen, but is indeed a fish. And indeed, throughout history, they are known to appear from the deep waters just before seismic activity. This one washed in on Mindano on February 7th, just three days before that earthquake killed more than a dozen people in the Philippines. We're going to run through the pressure and radar forecasts, hopefully no more snow for me. Then we've got a null school run up through the atmosphere and follow with shots of our star to close. Texas, I really don't like what I see at the end of the U.S. run when it comes up here in a second. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.